Which member of the Nets Big Three is most important to their success, Mike Wilborn? Give it to me. James Harden, Stephen A. Oh. And I know you better agree with me because last week I you don't. had him as the league MVP. You had him as the league MVP a week ago tonight. So, so how can you have him as the league MVP if he's not the most important member of that team? He's leading the league in assists. What was the thing we wondered, Stephen A., you and I included, about the Nets when these trades were all done and acquisitions and those guys were in place? Who's going to organize the team? Who's going to share the ball? Who is going to lead that team as a playmaker? The answer to what? that, unequivocally, is James Harden. Why are you enticing me to act like Tony Kornheiser when you say such ridiculous things, Mike Wilbon? <laughs> yes, I had him as a league you MVP because the MVP is a regular season award and Kevin Durant hasn't been playing. But KD, they can't win a championship without KD. Let me go to question number two here to you because with Durant and Harden and Kyrie, have they still only played seven games together this season. How concerning is it? that they look to make a finals run, considering the fact that they only played seven games together. Stephen A., that's just it. Seven games together. And I'm not going to say chemistry, because they okay. have chemistry. It seems they already have that. I don't see any issues with those guys on the court or in the locker room. The question is, have they played enough? I mean, we saw this to some extent last year with the Clippers, and we wondered, you know, with the injuries here and there, and George and, Ka and, and, and Kawhi, had they played together enough? to iron out some of these things. And not just with each other, Stephen A., but with the other guys on that roster, with Joe Harris, with Jeff Green, with DeAndre Jordan, and now with LaMarcus Aldridge. And I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to forget Shamit. You know, they, yeah. they've got to play together. And I don't mean, I hear people saying, oh, if they come back for five games in a series, no, 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 no. They need more time than that together, no matter how phenomenally talented they are. Basketball is a team game well, at some point. You know, this is what the numbers people have done. They've made us think that you've run these numbers out there right. and talk about percentages and absolutes, that that makes a team. It does not. They have to we play together. Agree and I think they have to have double digits together. We completely, we completely agree there, not to mention the fact that it's not just about them three. Them three can't play defense, for crying out loud, together, and that be it. You need five guys. Well, Bond, don't go anywhere. I'll deal with you later. Got me acting like Tony Kornheiser. I got some work to do here. Still ahead, we'll examine the Eastern Conference trust factor. Michael Wilbon returns, like I just told you, to weigh in on the true balance of power in the Eastern Conference. Plus, with Zion putting up Shaq-like numbers this season, the one and only Woj details how the Pelican